Chapter 3081 Seizing Everything 2 Jun Wuxi was completely stunned. She still remembered the moment when the God of Light dissipated. The last whisper, Ying. That was the last sigh before the God of Light disappeared, softly, helplessly, wondering how much of his thoughts and sadness he had been immersed in. Because of his love, he destroyed the entire land of the gods. He was trapped in the seven world of dreams in endless remorse and self-blame. One would wonder if he would still think of the woman whom he was once so obsessed with. He once said that she was the kindest person he had ever seen, who had a delicate heart, the purest heart in the world. Jun Wuxi couldn't link the woman mentioned by God of Light with the Su Ruying she had seen. Su Ruying a cruel person who controlled the souls, a person who could ruin the souls mercilessly, and arbitrarily manipulate the soul was actually a woman who was missed by the god of light. This was really incredible. Looking at the silver ball of light in the hands of god of destruction, Jun Wuxi suddenly understood the cruelty of god of destruction. Kai Yan was a benevolent and just king, but god of destruction has taken away his kindness, making him a killing machine that only obeyed himself and ordered him to kill the people he had desperately wanted to protect. Watching the people they once became, under the indulgence of the god of destruction, they became cold-hearted monsters. Su Ruying once had a pure heart and a beautiful face that moved the gods, but the god of destruction had stripped everything she once had, making her an ugly and cruel demoness. The god of destruction was deliberately manipulating their fate digging them away from their precious goodness and burying in the evilness that should not belong to them. Extremely insulting and ironic, Jun Wuxi's eyes fell subconsciously to the other two spheres of light. She knew that one of them belonged to her father. In case, if she did not meet her father in Soul Realm, it would not take long for Jun Gu to become a cold-hearted executioner under the control of God of Destruction. He would forget everything in the past glory and kindness. With a loud thud, the god of destruction smashed the silver ball of light. The faint silver light spread on the ground and gradually disappeared. Jun Wuxi remained silent. Perhaps, for Kai Yan and Su Ruying, death was their real relief. If they could find themselves back and remember everything they had done over the years, they would live in self-blame, eternal life in remorse and there would never be salvation. This is Long Yao, he, I didn't like him at first. After all, he was just a good person, so selfless to everyone, so indifferent to everything. And his power was pretty good. The god of destruction took a blue ball and pouted as he looked bored. He didn't seem to intend to say anything, but just raised his hand to smash the ball of light. June Wuxi's brows wrinkled deeper and her eyes fell on the only remaining green sphere of light at the moment. Jun Wu Yao faintly felt the change of Jun Wuxi's breath. He used his own dark spirit to protect Jun Wuxi's surroundings without any traces to prevent any accidents. The God of Destruction did not reach out in a hurry. He just looked up at Jun Wuxi and the smile on his face was strangely creepy. Chapter 3082 Seizing Everything 3 However, such a subtle move had struck Jun Wuxi's heart inch by inch. Jun Wuxi's gaze followed the ball of light. It's still small and not fully formed, but this one is my favorite. It is bright and warm, full of happiness and glory. When I first took it out of its owner's soul, I'm curious, time has such a firm but warm power. I saw a lot of interesting things in its memory. Do you want to know? The god of destruction's lips slightly raised. His eyes were not looking at Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi was almost a step forward subconsciously, but fortunately Jun Wu Yao pulled her wrist in time. And Jun Wuxi's slight anomaly did not escape the eyes of god of destruction. The smile on his eyes became more intense. This memory is very beautiful, a happy family, a brother who loves, and a woman who sticks to the glory and the country guards the beloved woman, and the child who was just born really very happy and died obviously. It was as tragic as it was, but after death, there was no bit of resentment, only warmth and a touch of regret. The god of destruction squinted. Unfortunately, his survival time is too short, and his memory is too short. I don't see much. I just know that the woman in his memory is exactly the same person who fled. What makes me more interested is after years of being the Knight of Destruction, there will actually be a person from the lower realm who dares to provoke the upper realm, 
to a woman with the same name as his newly born daughter, June Wuxi the name are you familiar with it? The smile on the corners of destruction god spread a little bit, and the maliciousness in the eyes was uncovered. You are a god, you can see all this. Jun Wu Yao took Jun Wuxi's hand and felt Jun Wuxi's tension at the moment. She cared about her family beyond everything. Taking care of things, it had become difficult for Jun Wuxi to maintain absolute calmness. The God of Destruction shook his head. I am God, but I will not waste energy on the humble ones from the lower realms, and, God is not omnipotent, otherwise, why do I want to break the void? I know that there will be someone coming just an accidental discovery this person turned out to be my knight and the defector's daughter, which really surprised me. What did you take away from my father? June Wuxi said coldly, as if her voice could condense into ice in the next second. The god of destruction chuckled, his memory, and his persistence. But unfortunately, when Hans Ify came back and insisted on marrying him, I knew that Hans Ify should have noticed. But I don't care because only their presence will make you appear faster, and now it seems that I placed a good bet, right? My father is still alive, you can't manipulate him with this kind of thing. June Wuxi took a deep breath and forced herself to calm down. Oh, really? God of Destruction chuckled. He suddenly raised his hands and patted his palms. The back door of the temple was suddenly opened, and a group of soldiers strode into the temple with strides and among the soldiers, they dragged two people in shackles. When June Wuxi's eyes touched the two figures, the killing intention in her eyes rose to a critical point in an instant. Chapter 3083 Seizing Everything for June Gu and Hans Ify were bound together by chains of soul-binding chains. Huge chains were linked between them. The soldiers standing around them looked at them rigidly with cold eyes. From the looks of it, their pale faces and blood stains on the clothes reveal that before that, they had been tortured a lot. However, when they saw Jun Wuxi, a gentle smile appeared on their faces at the same time. That smile seemed to be telling Jun Wuxi that they were fine. But the anger in Jun Wuxi's heart was ignited in an instant. You thought, I would do nothing and let you come here? You are really naive. The God of Destruction sneered, but I was really surprised. I thought that otherworldly souls would not care about the life and death of people in the three realms. I did not expect that you seemed to care about your loved ones and friends. The God of Destruction looked at Jun Wuxi and laughed wildly. The reason why the God of Destruction indulged Long Yao to provoke Jun Wuxi was to try to test Jun Wuxi's temperament. Jun Wuxi did not become disappointed. She used unmercilessly means to get revenge on Long Yao because Long Yao wanted to kill the companion companions around her. Jun Wuxi's revenge and the importance of Giao Chu and the other companions made the God of Destruction more aware of the weightage of the chips in his hands. That was why he would let Jun Wuxi enter directly into the Seven World of Dreams. Because what he had in his hands was enough to contain Jun Wuxi. You deserve to die. Jun Wuxi narrowed her eyes and looked at the God of Destruction murderously. The God of Destruction simply laughed. I deserve to die. Ha ha ha. Then, you can come and try now, kill me, you and Yi Chu, kill me with your combined power you got, and then you can watch it with your own eyes, your parents, die in in front of you, ha ha ha. The rampant laughter of God of Destruction echoed in the hall. The laughter was extremely harsh. The smiles on Han Zifi and Junga's faces almost vanished. Little Wuxi, you listen. Han Zifi suddenly said. Jun Wuxi raised her head and looked at her mother whom she had not had time to spend time with. You can't let his plan succeed. Otherwise, it is not just me and your father, but everyone in the three realms. Even if you give up now, he will not stop. It's just a matter of dying now or later. To exchange your father's life and mine with his life, is a good bargain. Han Zifi was blessed with extreme calmness at this moment. She had been in close contact with the God of Destruction and knew his cruelty. Whether Jun Wuxi gave up, she and Jun Ge could not escape. Zifi, for so many years, you still haven't changed a bit. You really are disgusting. God of Destruction frowned and looked at Han Zifi. But he did not let Han Zifi come here to say that. Han Zifi raised her eyebrows disapprovingly and looked at God of Destruction, that's really sorry, 
my human nature can't change in this life, if I can make you feel disgusted, it is really my honor. God of destruction snorted coldly, no longer talking nonsense with hands he looked directly at Jun Wuxi and said, it's up to you how you choose, and I want to tell you a little, even if you have the combined power, you are still not my opponent. I have to remind you that the person Fen Ming is pushing, is none other than Yij's real body. Chapter 3084 Decisiveness 1 Real Body The words of the God of Destruction suddenly gave Jun Wuxi's heart an ominous hunch, and her eyes fell on the man Feng Ming was pushing. From the illusion given by the spirit tree, Jun Wuxi once saw Jun Wu Yao from the previous life. At that time, his eyes were more of an arrogance and disdain, as if he wanted to destroy everything in the world. That look was exactly what she had seen when Jun Wu Yao had just walked out of the cave carrying with him a trace of cynicism. But after getting along with Jun Wu Yao for a long time, the look in his eyes gradually changed. There was more gentleness in his eyes, and a little less of a grudge. Jun Wu Xi was very reluctant to believe the words of God of Destruction but the fact made her believe. Her eyes swept over to Jun Wu Yao's expression. From the subtle changes in his face, Jun Wu Xi knew that what God of Destruction said was true. No one would know better than Jun Wu Yao the reliability of the truth. But what should she do? Just when Jun Wu Xi hesitated on how to take care of the predicament in front of her, Jun Wu Yao standing beside her suddenly made a move. He suddenly raised his hand as the black dark spirit instantly rushed towards the him who was seated on the wheelchair. The speed was so fast that Jun Wu Xi had no chance to speak. When Feng Ming saw the dark spirit rushing towards the other Jun Wu Yao on the wheelchair, he immediately stood in front of the wheelchair and used his power to counter it. However, even so, Feng Ming's figure was blasted out in an instant as he fell directly to the corner of the hall and vomited out a mouthful of blood when he fell to the ground. Jun Wu Yao's actions made everyone in the hall dumbfounded. As a servant serving the gods, Feng Ming had been infected with great divine power for thousands of years. Even though he was not a real god, his strength was not inferior to Kai Yan. Even so, Feng Ming couldn't even get up after a blow from Jun Wu Yao. It was conceivable that Jun Wu Yao's prescription was so powerful. If there was no Feng Ming around, he would directly hit Jun Wu Yao's real body. I was afraid that it would be completely destroyed. Yi Ju, are you crazy? You even want to destroy your real body? The God of Destruction suddenly widened his eyes. He never thought that Jun Wu Yao would do such an extreme act. Don't you want to die? Tell you the truth. As early as when you came to the Three Realms, I had already noticed you. At that time, you had yet to separate from your real body. It was me who used divine power to separate your soul from your body and gave you a new body. If you dare to destroy your real body, your soul will disappear with it. Have you thought about it? The God of Destruction stared intently at Jun Wu Yu. He had witnessed his crazy moments before, but he had never seen Jun Wu Yao so ready to risk everything like now. When Jun Wu Yao came to the Three Realms that year, he did not use his real body. At that time, Jun Wu Yao was so powerful that it made people tremble in his presence. The God of Destruction knew that if Jun Wu Yao was kept in that state, it would be impossible to take him down. Therefore, the God of Destruction took advantage of his own convenience as the God of the Three Realms and thought of all ways to separate Jun Wu Yao's soul and body. Chapter 3085 Decisiveness 2 He managed to erase the memory of Jun Wu Yao and it wasn't until the new body of Jun Wu Yao was formed that the God of Destruction put his soul into the new body. Only then did Jun Wu Yao have a memory belonging to Yi Jun if possible. God of Destruction did not want to spend too much effort on this. He needed more than just Jun Wu Yao. He had no choice but to release Jun Wu Yao to leave Jun Wu Xi to appear. However, in order to prevent accidents, God of Destruction deliberately saved Jun Wu Yao's real body, in order to use it to threaten Jun Wu Yao at the critical moment. But never would he have thought that Jun Wu Yao would take the chance to destroy himself without saying a word just as he was about to use his real body to threaten Jun Wu Yao. That was simply seeking his own death. Jun Wu Yao narrowed his eyes and looked indifferently at the distorted god of destruction. He calmly said, I will not be your bargaining chip for anyone. If his existence is a threat, 
then I will destroy him without hesitation. Jun Wu Yao looked at his real body indifferently as if he was looking at a dead body. Don't you want to live? If you destroy your real body, you will die. The God of Destruction roared out. Jun Wu Yao's lips curled up casually and ignored the clamor from God of Destruction. He turned his head and looked at the worried Jun Wuxi. He stretched out his hand and rubbed Jun Wuxi's little head. I said that as long as I am here, no one will hurt you. I will not even allow myself to hurt you. Jun Wuxi froze in place. In a flash, she understood Jun Wu Yao's intention. Even if Jun Wuxi disregarded Jun Wu Yao's safety and attacked the God of Destruction with all her strength, Jun Wu Yao would not let this happen. He did not want to give the God of Destruction such an opportunity. He wanted to end this all with his own hands and protect Jun Wuxi, even if it meant by sacrificing himself. Jun Wuxi wanted to say something. But Jun Wu Yao shook his head. You have walked all the way till now. I have seen it in my eyes. How can I be your burden? For many years, Jun Wu Yao couldn't remember himself. He watched the indifferent girl grow bit by bit, silently carrying the fate of the three realms on her shoulders. Such a thin and weak body had to shoulder all this. How could he endure and let her efforts go to waste? God of destruction, you want to threaten me with my real body? then you are really wrong. Even if you don't destroy it, I will destroy it myself. Jun Wu Yao raised his head as the last sliver of gentleness in his eyes had faded. He would not give God of Destruction any chance. I don't believe that you'll dare to do it. The God of Destruction glared at Jun Wu Yao as he gnashed his teeth. He didn't believe that there would still be people in the world who would be stupid enough to sacrifice themselves. Especially someone powerful like Jun Wu Yao. Jun Wu Yao sneered. An ominous feeling rose within Jun Wuxi's heart suddenly as she subconsciously reached out and wanted to hold Jun Wu Yao, but her outstretched hand fell onto empty space instead. Before anyone could react, Jun Wu Yao's figure had already turned into a shadow and shot towards his real body that was the embodiment of his own existence. There was a loud bang and inside the huge hall, the roaring explosion pierced everyone's eardrum, and two identical figures overlapped at this moment. At this critical juncture, there was an explosion. Chapter 3086 Decisiveness 3 The deafening sound passed from the eardrum to the heart. Jun Wuxi stunned and looked at the fine stars scattered in the hall before her. The dust that shone with light was scattered on the ground. When it fell to the ground, it turned into nothing. This scene was deeply carved in Jun Wuxi's eyes and heart. An invisible, strong and huge force rushed quietly towards Jun Wuxi's soul. In the explosion, the whole hall trembled. The blood-red mist that had originally diffused in the hall quietly dispersed a little in this shock. The god of destruction incredulously widened his eyes and looked at the empty wheelchair. In the large hall, he opened his eyes to look around for something, but as a result, an explosion sounded in his brain. If you want to sacrifice the three realms and break through the void, one must rely on the power of the two souls of the outside world, but, he never imagined that when he thought he had won the game, Jun Wu Yao would choose to blow himself up so decisively. Exclamation mark. With the total destruction of the soul and real body, and such a result, God of Destruction's plan was a complete failure. Without the existence of another worldly soul, his sacrificial array how could it be carried out? Ruined. Everything was ruined. The God of Destruction sat on the throne depressed. He had calculated everything. But he had not anticipated that Jun Wu Yao would choose to sacrifice himself for Jun Wuxi. He did not even leave any. Jun Wu Yao's self destruction shocked everyone. Han Zifi and Jun Ge stared widely and could hardly believe what they saw. That powerful man had just vanished. Just like that. Almost at the same time, Han Zifi and Jun Ge immediately turned their concerned gazes to Jun Wuxi. A sense of panic that had never been felt before rose in their hearts. Jun Wu Yao had sacrificed his body and soul, then their little Xi. Jun Wu Xi stood quietly in the hall as her downcast eyes hid the flurry of raging emotions in her eyes. Her sleeves and her black hair were billowing around her although there was no evident wind. Little, little Xi hands if he looked at the motionless Jun Wu Xi. Her heart was no longer calm as she became more and more nervous. She knew her daughter very well, no matter how calm she looked on the surface. 
her heart was not as indifferent on the inside. Han Zifi once heard everything from Jun Wu Yao about how they had met, their various encounters and how their love had blossomed. Han Zifi knew that even now, Jun Wu Xi had never said it, but as long as Jun Wu Yao was by her side, she had the courage to face everything. But now that Jun Wu Xi had personally witnessed Jun Wu Yao make his choice to sacrifice himself in front of her, she did not dare imagine how this matter would affect Jun Wu Xi. In the hall, the only one that remained calm was the soul of Gu Ying. He was in his soul state and the impact he felt was much smaller than others. In his view, Jun Wu Yao's choice was right, he raised his eyes and looked at the God of Destruction with a twisted face as a sneer appeared at the corner of his lips. The God of Destruction would eventually pay for his arrogance. Losing Jun Wu Yao's soul, how would he break through the void? What's more, how would he handle someone's upcoming revenge? Chapter 3087 This is Vengeance 1. The God of Destruction turned hysterical. He had carefully plotted and planned for many years. But in the end, he was greeted with such an unacceptable result. The otherworldly soul was lost. He could no longer activate the array for the blood sacrifice of the three realms. Damn you, damn you, Yijhu, you are so damned. God of destruction roared like crazy. He walked down from the throne. His golden eyes had already turned bloodshot. He wished to find back Jun Wu Yao's soul and crush it into powder, or imprison it for tens of thousands of years for as long as it could survive. However, all his anger and hatred had vanished. Jun Wu Yao chose to end his life decisively. Whether it was the real body or the soul, it would eventually disappear in this world. That was the most complete counterattack given to the God of Destruction and the most powerful change that God of Destruction could not stop. A loud roar exploded from the mouth of God of Destruction. He couldn't bear that the plan he had plotted for so long was destroyed by Jun Wu Yao. His crimson eyes looked at the silent Jun Wu Xi. Everything was gone, he could no longer break through the void and set foot firmly in the realm that he had seeked all his life. Yi Jun, do you think that if you die, everything can be over? I will destroy destroy everything you want to protect. The God of Destruction evoked a cruel smile as he walked towards Jun Wuxi, step by step with a malicious glint in his eyes. Yij did this for you. He chose to sacrifice himself for you. Ha ha ha. It's really touching, Jun Wuxi. Isn't this very touching? The person whom you love, the person whom you've always wanted to protect had given up his own life so decisively and met such an end. What a pity. It's all because of you, it's all because of you that he had chosen to die. The words of God of Destruction were like a hypnotic chant as he pushed Jun Wu Yao's death onto Jun Wu Xi as his blood red eyes stared venomously at her like a viper. Bullshit! Wu Yao hands if he immediately understood the intention of God of Destruction. He clearly wanted to let Jun Wu Xi's heart fall into huge guilt, so as to destroy Jun Wu Xi's consciousness. But Han Ziffy's words were just spoken and God of Destruction swept away with a cold eye. The guards guarding Han Ziffy immediately covered Han Ziffy and Junga's mouth, unwilling to let them say any further. In the silent hall, only the breath of death enveloped everyone's heart as the God of Destruction looked as if he had just walked out of hell. Every step was imbued with pure evil. Do you love him very much? Do you love him as much as he loves you? He is willing to give up his life for you. How about you? Do you wish to continue to survive with his sacrifice? Escape from here with his soul fragments. The God of Destruction approached Jun Wuxi step by step, watching Jun Wuxi standing motionless, the vicious cold light flashed under his eyes. Jun Wu Yao ruined his lifelong dream. Even if he died, he could not remove the hatred in his heart. He wanted to destroy Jun Wu Yao's loved one the one whom he had sacrificed himself in order to protect. He would use the cruelest array in the world to let Jun Wuxi live forever in eternal life and never get relief. That was his revenge against Jun Wu Yao. Even if Jun Wu Yao's soul had already dissipated, Chapter 3088 This is Vengeance 2 The hearts of Han Ziffy and Junga had already reached their throats. They wished they could rush to Jun Wuxi immediately to stop the God of Destruction's plan. The malignant intention of destruction God was too obvious and seeing his twisted expression made them extremely wary. Standing at the side, Gu Ying's brows were light as he watched as the God of Destruction approached Jun Wuxi step by step. However, 
Jun Wuxi did not respond. This situation made Gu Ying find it a little strange. Why was this happening? Is it true that Jun Wuxi was really stimulated by Jun Wu Yao's death? The danger was near. Was she really going to give up resistance? Gu Ying's heart constantly raised a lot of doubts. But in the end, he subconsciously denied his doubts. No. Jun Wuxi was not that easy to defeat. After playing several times with Jun Wuxi, Gu Ying knew very well how powerful this petite woman looking body was. Then, what was she waiting for? Just as Gu Ying continued to deliberate, the God of Destruction had already approached Jun Wuxi and he was only three steps away from her. The vicious cold light bloomed from the eyes of God of Destruction. He slowly reached out his hand and stretched it towards Jun Wuxi's neck. Just in an instant, a few rays of light suddenly rushed in from outside the hall. In the blink of an eye, they rushed towards the God of Destruction. The God of Destruction retreated back a few steps at the same time, avoiding the impact of those streaks of light. The streaks of lights appeared before Jun Wuxi. As the lights dissipated, four towering figures suddenly stood defensively in front of Jun Wuxi. Want to touch little Xi, defeat us first. Giao Chu stood angrily in front of Jun Wuxi defending her. The red aura ignited around him was like a raging flame, a circle of dazzling light appeared above his left hand as a spirit ring shone brightly. Fi Yan, Hu Yao and Fan Zuo stood respectively beside Giao Chu. The four tall figures formed an insurmountable high wall in front of Jun Wuxi. The pace of the destruction god's attack was blocked. Giao Chu and others originally recuperated at the residence arranged by Nan Gong Lai according to Jun Wuxi's request. But not long ago, Nan Gong Lai suddenly brought news that both Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao broke into the sacred hall. After hearing that, the five of them could not sit still anymore. They didn't dare to stay for a while longer. They could only put the puppet Rong Wu O under the care of Bei Ai Mo and they rushed to the sacred hall together. When entering the temple, blood flowed along the road. The damaged corpses piled up like a mountain. The thick bloody smell filled each of their noses and stimulated their nerves. Their hearts were full of fear. They rushed over at full speed. They were afraid of what would happen to Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao. Just before they entered the hall, they saw that the God of Destruction was approaching Jun Wuxi step by step. Their minds exploded and they rushed over without caring for their own lives. What shocked them was that besides Jun Wuxi and the God of Destruction, Han Zifi and Jun Gu were also present and not only that, there was another familiar presence. They had all been to the soul world. They knew the state of the soul body. Gu Ying standing on the side, his translucent body, clearly looked like a soul body. The situation in front of them was so complicated that several of them could not react at all. Chapter 3089 This is Vengeance 3. Ha ha ha, oh, this is really touching the god of destruction looked at Giao Chu and the others that stood before him. Suddenly he smiled with his bloodshot eyes. His gaze glazed past them as he looked at Jun Wuxi standing behind them quietly with unconcealed malevolence. Jun Wuxi, are you very touched? So many people are willing to die for you the god of destruction curled his lips. The thrill of revenge in his heart grew stronger and stronger. He stretched out his hand to point at Giao Chu and said to them, Giao Chu, Hu Yao, Fan Zuo, ah, this ugly monster. Chu did be Yan. The God of Destruction's fingers suddenly stopped when he touched the Fiyan bandages on his face. Fiyan's eyes stared sharply at the God of Destruction, but the God of Destruction laughed. It's really pitiful to become such an inhuman and ghost-like figure and still thinking that you can come to save Jun Wuxi. You really have too many partners and they are all willing to die for you. Ah, just like Yi God of Destruction said with a smile on his eyes. His words were like a bombshell and exploded in Kiao Chu's heart. Yi Chu, wasn't that the name of brother Wu Yao? How could this guy say? What kind of sheet you talking about? You will die, not brother Wu Yao. Don't think that you can provoke alienation here. Kiao Chu couldn't help but yelled. His heart was faintly uneasy, and he was only aware of it now. Jun Wu Yao's figure at Al in the sacred hall. But according to the news given by Nan Gong Lai, Jun Wu Yao should have entered the temple together with Jun Wuxi. But read more new novels on elicednovel.com. Where was he? Provoking? Ha ha the god of destruction smirked and raised his hand. It's a pity, if I said it's not true, 
Then the god of destruction looked at Giao Chu's Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi, how could she be so depressed? The deep voice of god of destruction made a chill run down the back of Giao Chu and the others and what scared them even more was the words from god of destruction. Jun Wuxi's state was indeed not right. From their appearance to the present, Jun Wuxi had not said a word. She never even raised her head. The silent response made Kiao Chu feel even more panicked. Little Xi, brother Wu Yao fans uh oh turned his head slightly and asked Jun Wuxi. However, Jun Wuxi stood motionless with her head down without a sound. Her breath was so weak that it was almost imperceptible. No crying, no anger, no wailing. Only the faint breath sound echoed in the repressed hall as if she could disappear at any time. Jun Wuxi's reaction almost assumed everything God of Destruction said. Giao Chu's heart fell to the bottom of the valley in an instant. No matter what you said, as long as we are here, don't you dare to touch little Xi. Hu Yao took a deep breath and forcibly suppressed his inner grief. It was not the time to feel sad when they are facing the enemy now. Jun Wuxi was in a strange situation. Even if they were in pain, who else could replace Jun Wu Yao to protect little Xi? Oh, you are handling your emotions really well. God of Destruction chuckled and a sharp murderous intention flashed in his eyes. Chapter 3090 This is Vengeance 4. Don't worry, you'll be joining Yi Jun and the one you want to protect, Jun Wu Xi, will be joining you as well. Oh no I won't let her die that easily, after all. She is the woman who Yi sacrificed his life to protect. I will take care of her properly and let her witness the deaths of all those dear to her, keeping her in an eternal state of torture. Your arrival is a true gift that allows me to increase her suffering. The God of Destruction laughed cruelly. His plan to break through the void had been ruined by Jun Wu Yao's death. The God of Destruction was full of hatred and only exacting revenge ten or a hundredfold would quell it. Protect little Xi well. Fan Zuo looked at his companions, all having the same resolution in their hearts. Today, if they could not live, they would all die together. They would not let the God of Destruction succeed even if they had to give their lives. In what seemed to be the same instant that Fan Zuo spoke, Fi Yan put Jun Wuxi over his shoulder and ran out of the hall as fast as he could. Fi Yan's injury had not fully healed and was the least ready for battle among the four of them, but he was still stronger than Giao Chu and the rest so the best strategy was to get Jun Wuxi as far away from danger as possible. The God of Destruction saw Jun Wuxi being carried out and wanted to give chase. However at that moment, Giao Chu, Hu Yao and Fan Zuo summoned their spirit rings and fused them with their own souls. Before. When they managed to survive the attacks of the top ten masters, it was because their souls had merged with their spirit rings. Now that their souls were fully healed, going through another fusion would increase their strength tremendously. A dazzling aura surrounded them, taking the shape of their spirit rings. Their power could be seen wafting in the air and their bodies grew larger and covered the exit to the hall. You've overestimated yourselves. The God of Destruction laughed. It was undeniable that their current strength would have put them at the top of the three realms, higher than even the top ten masters who had attacked them previously. But their opponent was not a person but a god. In the blink of an eye, they were sent flying by the God of Destruction. If they were not protected by their spiritual power, all their internal organs would have been crushed. Even so, when they fell to the ground, they still coughed up blood and in that blood there were bits of flesh. They had already suffered internal injuries. Before the God of Destruction could think of giving chase to Jun Wuxi, Kiao Chu and the rest stood up once more and rushed towards him, not caring about their lives. The three of them were like moths to a flame, knowing the battle was futile but were still unwilling to give any quarter. If they could delay the God of Destruction by even one second, giving Fi Yan more time to get Jun Wuxi further away, it would be worth it. 